All right, we've got one more. It's gonna be a quick one too. We're gonna try not to pause it too much. I know that Matt's got a place he's gotta go, but I think that we're gonna hit it. Um, we're doing okay on time, Matt? Yep, you got three minutes. Three minutes. Um, well, if you have to, I mean, if you if if you have to go at any point, just let let me let me let me know here. Um, but all right, let's check it out. This is a big franchise. We're getting the next one in it. Let's check it out. You're watching the trailer for. The Action Pack needs you. You can support Mike's After Action Reviews on our Patreon for as little as $3 a month. Every quarter, once we've made at least $200, we're going to be giving away 10% of our earnings from Patreon in a giveaway over on our Twitch, so go check that out as well. You can find all of the links for everything in the description and in the pinned comment down below. Do your part. Support the pack. The action pack. Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. Red Rescue Team Official Nintendo Switch Plus Online Expansion Pack Trailer. IGN. or are liking the video. 93,000 views. 1.9 thousand likes. Uh, 117 dislikes. Uh, Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Red Rescue Team is available now as part of the Game Boy Advance Nintendo Switch Expansion Pack Library. All of that stuff. Yeah. Um, it's an expansion. Let's check it out. I haven't played into um, Pokemon since Gold and Silver, so are the one. What was the ones after Gold and Silver? But um, let's check it out. We got a one minute fourteen second trailer. I hope you're ready. <sighs> I love my awesome support the troops stormtrooper mug. Do you know where you can get a mug just like this one, but different? Bottega Crua. Bottega Crua is an Italian born and raised artisan trained at the Academy of Fine Arts in Venice, Italy. Since 2010, Bottega Crua has offered unique handmade and hand painted ceramics, pottery, and other artistic products. You can find these products at her Etsy store by following the link down below. She also takes custom orders, but they may take longer to ship because she has to make them after you order them. So go check out Bottega Crua to get yourself an awesome mug just like this one or the ones you've been seeing behind me as this ad has been going on. Remember guys, supporting our partners is supporting the pack, the action pack. Here we go. Did you ever play Pokemon? No. Okay. Um, these graphics look old. They these do, look like the. They? Oh, is it that? Okay, so this is your playing as the Pokemon. I've never seen this. Seen games like a game like this. This is where you're playing as Pokemon as the Pokemon. Okay. So, like I said, I haven't played since I think it was like Ruby and Sapphire. It's the ones that came after Gold and Silver. Okay. But you're playing as the Pokemon. That's a little bit of an innovation. What do they call that? First person view? I'm sorry, say that again. First person view? Uh, yeah, POV. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your Pokemon? Well, yeah, I mean, well, this is top, like, isometric. I uh, Pokemon was one of the first games that I ever really actually played, like the no, Pokemon, the originals, red and, and blue. Um, I don't know. It's interesting that you play as the Pokemon themselves. That's cool. They're all talking to each other. I've never, this is like, I've never even heard of this being a thing. I mean, what what are your thoughts? I know that you're, are you familiar with Pokemon at all? What, what, what are you thinking? No, I thought Pokemon was like, um, Sonic, where it was a, a person itself. No, no, Pokemon is where you, you're a guy who goes around catching these Pokemon and making them battle each other, and you train them, and they battle for you, and it's an interesting series. Um, the graphics here are less, though. The, the, the graphics for the modern Pokemon, um, like Pokemon... Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, the gra look at the graphics for this. Like that's that's the graphics. Yeah. So, um, yeah. 
Well, yeah. if, Matt, if you have to, if you have to go, you you can go, buddy, and I can finish up. I'm just going to look through the comments. Um, yep. Yeah. All right, Matt has to go. Everybody, say goodbye to Matt. We're gonna we're gonna goodbye, go to everybody. the. everybody. Um, yeah, we're gonna go to the comments here. See you later, Matt. God bless you. You have a good one. Okay, buddy. Thanks for letting me sign on, Mike. Yeah, no problem. Great to have you. Here we go. All right, so Matt was on the live stream with us, but Matt had to had to go, so that's fine. We we kind of were cutting it close with time for him. He had a thing he had to do. But um uh you know, as far as the Pokémon, I I'm I'm trying to understand this because really I remember Pokémon being like Pokémon Scarlet gameplay. I mean, this is the Pokémon of today. It's interesting to me that they don't have more, like even Pokemon, what was it, Ruby? I mean, that's the, gra well, I can't, like this was the graphics for Pokemon Ruby. I don't know if you guys can see that. Uh, I'll open up it here. This is the graphics for Pokemon Ruby, all right? And you can pick between being a girl or a boy. And then this is the graphics for this game. And this looks like Pokemon, what, like red? Let me see, Pokemon um, red. Yeah, or, you know, well, maybe a little bit better. Let's go Pokemon gold. Remember gold and silver? So, yeah, this was Pokemon gold and silver. Here we go. That was Pokemon Gold and Silver. This is po ah, so it's kind of like between the two. It's a little bit better. It's a little bit better, but it's not. It's not like so great as far as the graphics that we've seen in the past for the Pokemon games that are isometric. Oh, uh, it's not terrible. I'm not really a graphics guy. I'm just pointing it out because that's kind of the thing. Pokemon hasn't had too many innovations. I don't know if there's been Pokemon games before where you play as the Pokemon because, like I said, I I haven't followed the series too closely for a long time, but. It's kind of a cool idea. You play as Pokemon and battle that way. Um, combat, it seems, yeah, so you're, it's like you're battling almost like a turn-based tactics game. Um, that's cool. Yeah, great. If you're in a Pokemon, check this one out. Um, when does it come out? It says, uh, it's available now. Red Rescue Team. Mystery Dungeon. Okay, let's see what the comments are saying about it. Um, this game gave me this weird, special feeling as a kid. Please remake Explorers of Time and Darkness with all content from Sky, please. Uh, man, that after showing the OG box art, just bring back the, the Game Boy Advance. <laughs> yeah, you know, honestly, the Game Boy Advance was so good. It lasted for a really long time. It feels like it was only yesterday when you look back. Imagine they bring back Pokemon Emerald fire red and events let me see pokemon fire red okay yes no this is the last one that i played this is the last one that i played okay open image and new tab that it see that doesn't even show it as good really it doesn't because the graphics the graphics started to get pretty pretty good and oh, oh, oh go back and um, it's just weird that they, maybe, maybe the graphics are like, are equal to this. Um, maybe the graphics are equal to this. I, m maybe, I would say. It's just odd to me that they didn't have a little bit of a better graphical quality. Especially because we're not playing on Game Boy Advance anymore. We're playing on, like, PC, Xbox, Nintendo Switch. These are better, better game consoles. Well, I don't think you can get these on PlayStation, but even if you can get it on PC, like, it's better, you know? Uh, after years past of playing with some new schools of Mystery Dungeon, it's time to go home, play with the original OG game of Mystery Dungeon. Is this a remake? Let me see this. Pokemon Red Rescue Team. Explain this to me. People are saying it like it's a remake of, of Blue Red Rescue Team... And, oh, okay, so this is like a, like a remake? Okay. 
I'm trying to understand. Let me know in the comment section down below. But if it's a remake, you'd think that they would... You'd think... When, when, did, when did Pokemon... Let me just see this. Pokemon Emerald. I'll take a little bit of time here with this one. Pokemon Emerald came out internationally in 2005. This game came out in 2005. That's interesting. I didn't realize that. Interesting. Okay, cool. Uh, I'm not exactly sure what's going on with the way that they're re-releasing it. Is it that they're re-releasing it? It's not specifically saying... Okay, T is available now as part of the Game Boy Advance plus Nintendo... Oh, that's what it is. place in the world where there's no humans, only Pokemon, you, originally human, wake up one day to find yourself in a curious world and, and that you're now a Pokemon. How and why did this happen? I've never even heard of this game before. Apparently it released in the year that the last Pokemon game that I played was released. Interesting. Okay. Um, Blue Rescue Team was my first Pokemon game and MT Friend had read and still friends to this day. They need to give us the option to buy these games like on the Wii and you and the 3DS. Gonna be honest, the pixel sprites of this game aged way better than the weird crayon aesthetic of its remake. So this is like being able to rebuy the originals. Rebuy the originals for um, Nintendo Switch. Awesome. Cool. Uh, if I've messed up on anything in understanding exactly how this works, I've got to be honest with you, I'm not exactly understanding how this is releasing. Like, so I guess this is like a re-release? Let me know. <laughs> Let me know in the comment section down below, guys. Um, but, um, yeah, so Matt wasn't able to finish out with us. Uh, let me just go to, to Just Cam. But, um, yeah, so this one's awesome. Go check it out. It's available now, guys, Nintendo Switch. It's cool to see that Nintendo is kind of bringing back their back catalog of games, remaking them, re-releasing them. That's pretty awesome. At least, you know, re-releasing them on modern consoles and, and, and um, handhelds. Basically, Nintendo is the only one that really has the handheld market. They've got that cornered, and that's, yeah, it's interesting to see all the stuff that they, they release. And I'm glad that they're uh, a good user-friendly user company. Yeah. Um, awesome. Uh, here we go. Let's move on from here. If the, if you're watching on YouTube, thank you very much for watching. Uh, or watching, you know, on, on the, on the cut up, the 10 cut up videos that I release on, um, Thursdays and or Friday, depending sometimes stuff happens and I have to release them Friday. Um, but here we go. Uh, moving on. God bless you all. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to check me out on Twitch and join the Discord where you can voice chat with me while I live stream and you won't be recorded or anything on YouTube and Twitch, so that's pretty cool. You can also find me on Facebook and Instagram. If you like to read, you can see my after action reports on my blog. And if you are interested, you can get some merch from my spring store. The links for everything are in the description below.